everybody. I am back this week uh, to do something a little bit fun and uh, something to warm you up on another cold day because I'm telling you there's sometimes these days I swear I've moved to Hoth. We are going to do a chicken pot pie in a mug. I know. How fun is that going to be? Okay. So what you're going to do first is grab yourself a bowl. doesn't need to be your mug yet. You'll need an oversized mug, but not yet. You just need a microwavable bowl right now. And you want a half a cup of uh, mixed chopped vegetables. I've got um, I've got asparagus, onions, carrots, mushrooms, celery. It's kind of whatever vegetables you want in your pot pie. And just you dump those right in your microwavable bowl. It's not going to be very much, but it'll be enough. You'll see. So you're going to take some water and you're going to pour just enough in here to completely cover your vegetables. Some will float, well, yeah, they're light, let's face it, it's vegetables. But that's all I'm going to need. I didn't even need a whole cup of water. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for two minutes because we want to try to get our vegetables at least partway cooked. Okay, I'm going to put those in for two minutes and I will be right back because I forgot to get something that I really want to show you guys. I got it and I'll show it to you here in a little bit. What we're going to do while we're cooking our vegetables, we can take our oversized mug, we're going to spray it real good with cooking spray. This is where the pot pie part comes in. Get yourself a pack of phyllo dough. Um, when you unroll it, after you've thawed it, they are paper thin. You'll, it'll tear a little bit while you're doing this, but that's okay. What you're going to do is you're going to probably take some of it off there and we're gonna coat the inside of our mug with this yes it'll probably come tear into pieces it's not a problem trust me because when it cooks it's just gonna be one you're gonna press it up against the side of your mug yes I know it's probably gonna be ripping terribly but when it bakes you're not even going to be noticed. It's just going to be nice and fluffy. I'm going to spray mine a little bit more with cooking spray to get it to stick to the side of the mugs a little bit. Because right now, it's not going to look pretty. But, once you bake it, trust me, it's going to look great. This phyllo dough, it's fussy stuff. Okay, once your vegetables have cooked for two minutes, you're going to take those over to the sink. And you're going to, whether you use a strainer or not, I am, you're going to drain off all the excess water because all you want is your vegetables. Okay. Once you have all your vegetables drained off, put those back in your bowl. Because you're going to be doing some mixing now. Okay, once you do that, you're going to add a half of a cup of heavy cream. Pour that straight in with your vegetables. Okay, there we go. Half a cup of heavy cream. That's going to start to make up our sauce. Then we're going to add a, a whole cup of chopped shredded chicken. Whether you buy canned chicken, whether you buy a chicken breast that you and cook it up another way. That one is completely up to you. You just need a cup of chopped or shredded cooked chicken. All right. 
And you're gonna put your chicken right in with your veggies. Get yourself a fork because you're gonna wanna stir it up. Fork or a spoon, that's actually completely up to you. But like I said, here you're making your filling. Okay. And you're gonna just add, you're gonna salt and pepper to taste, which just means, you know, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, more you can add later. Now, you don't have to do what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning to mine, just because I like a little bit of an extra kick. That part, it's up to you. I like to add a little bit of extra flavor. So, I'm gonna stir that up and set it to the side and we're gonna get back to our mug, putting our dough in. Yeah, it's gonna look terrible, I'm not gonna lie. See, looks absolutely terrible. But, once it cooks, it's gonna be great. Just cooking ain't always pretty. You're gonna start to put all your filling there inside your little dough nest. If you're getting enough that you think you need to put another sort of higher layer of dough, go ahead. And that's exactly what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like this cute little birdie nest. As my, I've got my recipe on my Kindle this week, so. I'm just adding a little bit of extra dough to the sides of mine. Okay, then put the rest of my filling in because it's gonna fill it up pretty full. Yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna put a dash of extra cream on there because I like it. Okay, you're gonna see it's gonna be this cute little birdie nest. So now you're gonna take some more of your little phyllo and you're gonna make a nice crust on top. Okay. Now we're gonna stick it in the microwave for five and a half minutes. I know it seems like a long time, but we want our dough to cook. Let me clean up just a little bit here. Okay, so, a few shout outs. Um, my awesome friend Becky from the Geek Girl Project made me this hat. We finally got to meet up and exchange Christmas presents, but how cool she actually made this. It's so cool. And my shirt this week, how cute is that? I got it in a shirt punch grab bag. And shout out, another shout out again to Silverbacks because I got another sticker. How cute is that? It's our 2D can. I wore it with my uh, <laughs> with my Yoda shirt just because I thought that was cool. Sorry, I'm just checking the time. Went through my shout outs pretty fast, but I'll start to clean up now. me you're gonna get so frustrated with this phyllo dough but trust me it might not look pretty when you're starting but it's gonna make an amazing crust for your pot pie and you're gonna hear pop snapple crack from your microwave that is just your stuff cooking it's okay And um, you're going to have a ton of phyllo dough left. I just recommend wrapping it up, rolling it up, either putting it in the fridge to use it again soon, or popping it right into the freezer to make some desserts later on, which is what I'll do when this is over. Mm. 
amazing smells are coming from my microwave. Fancy bubbly sauce. Okay, we'll check it in another two and a half minutes. Like I said, we're doing five and a half minutes, um, and then we're gonna check on it. It'll probably be done, but if not, you know, stick it in for another minute. It's all you know, because every microwave, like I always say, every microwave is different. Anybody was curious what I've been up to project-wise lately? Look at this chocolate mold I just ordered. It makes little chocolate game controllers. I got this because I will be selling them at Sci-Fi Con again this year. Even got a mold to make mini little superhero faces. I've been getting so many new chocolate molds. I'm completely revamping my stock for you guys that will come to Sci-Fi Con. It's going to be awesome. Ooh, it is. Bubbling like crazy. The cream is going nuts. I'm going to check on it here just a second. Just going to check on it a little bit here. Kind of tapping down some of the loose filo that's trying to run away. <laughs> Smells amazing. Now, honestly, your filo will probably not be the perfect golden brown you would get if you did it in the oven, but it's gonna be cooked and great. It's cooked, you can tell that it's cooking great. It's just sometimes with the microwave, the only maybe drawback I can see to doing it in the microwave is that you probably won't get the perfect golden brown that you do when you do it in the oven. It'll still be cooked, taste just as good. There won't be a different thing about it, except for the color. It's bubbling up so nice, I'm all excited. 15 seconds till we check it. because this is perfectly puffed up, but it is boiling like crazy, and I do not want you to burn yourselves. But this looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna try to tip it a little bit for you guys. It'll run a little bit, but not a lot, because like I said, it cooked up. Look at this, look, that is a papaya in a mug. Look at that, that is a perfectly creamy, if I took a bite now, I'd burn the schnoodle out of myself. But look at that. You just made a pot pie in a mug in like 15 minutes. How great is that? But I've come up with so many yummy recipes to keep you guys warm on a seriously cold day like today. Okay, I'm gonna eat it right now. <laughs> it tastes good, but it is so hot. Mmm. Oh god, that was cool. I'm eating my own hair. Mmm. 
veggies are cooked. It's got a nice soft gooey crust on it. A creamy filling. Taste the Italian seasoning. Like I said, you don't have to add that. Just salt and pepper it if you want to. Mmm. Awesome chicken. Mmm. Cream pouring off of it. It tastes seriously like creamy cheesy. And I didn't even use any cheese. That's just from the dough. And the heavy cream. Okay. I'm gonna go finish this. I won't make you guys watch me eat anymore. I'll see you next week.